guys, welcome to another video. Today, it's, uh, it's our second full day in Grenada, and uh, I've just got my pre-race efforts, because tomorrow is the time trial. So, uh, for breakfast, I'm gonna got my oatmeal again. It's gonna go with three packets. This time, uh, we've got maple and brown sugar, so uh, let's see how good that flavor is. On the ride now an hour and a half in i finished all my open efforts and for those of you who want to know my Strava link will be in the description if you want to check it out uh standard period ride today so a nice uh six seven ten minute ramp up to start with a couple minutes rest and five minutes of sweet spot the last 15 seconds at zone six ten minutes rest again then the next 10 minutes with sprints every two minutes five of them uh just like high high cadence uh you know like little rev up sprints, two minutes rest, and then finally five minutes zone three, and then uh, the rest of the ride is just chill. So yeah, I left slightly earlier today. It was cooler this morning, but uh, it's still pretty hot and it's not even, uh, I think it's just, yeah, it's just nine o'clock now. So yeah, I left at 7.30. Um, and yeah, just been riding the TT course. And uh, it's weird, it seems, um, kind of flat from the profile but yeah like I said yesterday it's actually surprisingly hilly so that'll be fun and uh yeah just need to make sure I keep eating yesterday I probably didn't eat quite enough because it's weird when when it's so hot the appetite just sort of goes so yeah I need to make sure I keep on top of that it's feeling a little bit low now just got back home now last ride before the uh the race tomorrow the time trial so uh yeah legs feeling surprisingly good like I said last Last time I was on a plane, plane to uh, the uh, Pan American Champs, my legs are actually finished after the flight. I mean, my legs are actually finished after the flight. Part of that was probably because it took so long with all the changes and stuff. But this time, my legs have held up fairly well. So uh, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. And now I'm gonna go inside and get some food. So yeah, I've got my bowl of watermelon. Finally, I had a little bit of food before this. Eating over the sink. This is this is when me and my sister were younger. We used to come to the sink like in the middle of the night and just eat a mango and just like yeah this is it's good memories um it's still pretty warm but it's so it's so weird it's nice to get the ride done and it's like 10 o'clock so we still got the rest of the day we're gonna go up to granatang lake which is like a pretty nice lake in the um like towards the middle of the island and then we might go to a different beach later on but i'm probably not gonna swim today because i want to chill um yeah so i'll keep you updated when we go to the lake because um it's quite nice. I haven't been there for ages, but I'm pretty sure if I remember right, there are monkeys, so we'll get some cool monkey videos. So we're back home now. I actually forgot to record anything from what we did throughout the day, which was a little bit, a bit annoying, I forgot, but you know, I was having a good time. And uh, yeah, so we drove up to the Granatang Lake, which is really high. It's literally about 2000 feet above sea level. And uh, yeah, the road, they are properly steep. They uh, they run a race here called the Grand Tank Challenge, which goes up there. And I, yeah, I can imagine cycling up that would be absolutely grim. You'd need a proper like compact chain ring, 32 in the rear, like it may be even more than that because like I'm talking like steep, the car was struggling. Anyway, so drove up there. That was nice to go there. I haven't been there obviously in ages as well. Then we drove back down to this really, really nice beach and uh, had a little chill out there for a while. I'll probably go swimming there, go back there for a little swim in a couple of days, maybe after the racing. And I'll put, put a lot, couple of little pictures here just of the day so you can see what we actually did. Anyway, I've just made a little bit of uh, rice because we didn't really buy that many things from the shops because it's like a lot of the things did be bulk and stuff. So we wouldn't want to waste or any, leave anything. So just put some rice together, gonna have some sausages and uh, pretty basic. And then we'll probably go and get proper dinner out across the road. Because conveniently, I can literally see with my eyes like 50 meters away 
20 meters away, there's a little Greek restaurant, so that's really nice to have that there too. And uh, yeah, like I said, tomorrow is the time trial, so yeah, making sure I've got enough fuel in me, even though it's only 30 something kilometers, I would not want to be low on fuel because that would be really bad. Saturday, the time trial day. Uh, I've woken up at 5 a.m. Um, the race starts at 7, so you know I can't wake up too late. Pitch black, and now it's it's only 5:30, and it's basically fully day. So yeah, I've caused a nice little time lapse. So I hope that looks, I hope that turned out pretty nicely. And uh, yeah, I've just had my porridge, oatmeal, whatever you want to call it. Uh, 120 grams of that, although I don't think it's 120 grams of oats itself, because it's got like other stuff and sugar and stuff. So it's probably like 100 grams. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good. Nice and filled up for time trial. Like I said, it's only 36 kilometers, so not super long. Maybe like, I don't know, between 35 and 40 minutes. I haven't really looked at exactly how long it'll take, and given the speed and the course and stuff. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, just gonna chill for the next, I don't know, half an hour. Luckily, the course is literally like four minutes down the road. Um, in Grenada, everything is really close together, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, route for time trial. Staying hydrated, as I guess. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. So I'm back. I finished the CT actually a few hours ago. It's so weird to fit like be finished by 8 or 8.30. And we'll be back home showered by 8.30. It's actually quite crazy. So we've done a few things today. Just uh, went at the house to just to uh, go to the Olympic. Um, Olympic building just to meet everyone, which is cool. Um, yeah, back in now. It's like now 1 p.m. So I just about to have some lunch. A bit of a ghetto meal, I won't lie. I'll show you in a second. It's just rice with frankfurters because that's all we've got left at the moment. Um, and ketchup. I can't forget the ketchup, we can't be having dry rice and frankfurters. Um, anyway, yeah, so about to have lunch. Oh yeah, so yeah, I did the time trial, I won. So I'm really, really happy about that. National time trial champion of Grenada. That's pretty amazing, really happy with that. I get to wear the national stripes in time trials and uh, some nice ECR points as well. So yeah, I'm beyond happy. But tomorrow is the road race. The work, the job is not finished. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy or? Still to be happy about. You're up too old. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. So, yeah, the main focus is still on the road race. That's the main thing that I'm really excited about. I really want to represent the National Stripes in like all the races for the next year. So, yeah, like I said, that's my main focus. The heat here, man, racing in the heat. Whoa. Like that time trial, you know when you get so hot that you start getting goosebumps and your body's like confused about hot and cold. 
Ooh, not good. So yeah, tomorrow I'll probably bring a bit more water. Luckily, so today I have my time draw suit, which is obviously it's long sleeve, it's a bit warmer. Tomorrow I've got the hoop uh, hot weather suit, so it's like super thin, like mesh and stuff. So that's really good. And uh, yeah, like I said, I think it's 90 miles or maybe 87 miles, I think it will be. No, 57 miles, that was it, 57 miles. So that'll be okay. Uh, it should be probably two and a half hours or something like that, maybe a bit longer. I feel like I'm not quite calibrated to how fast we race here just because it's so hilly and the road surface, it's not too bad, but it is quite grippy. So yeah, it's not super, super fast. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some lunch now and uh, chill out for a bit more. So it's a bit later in the day now, we actually went to dinner at Umbrellas, which is a nice little place on the beach. Again, I forgot to vlog anything while we're out, it's a bit of a bad habit, I need to try and break this habit while we're actually doing things to keep vlogging. Um, it's just so easy to forget, because you know, we're having a good time, but yeah. Anyway, really happy I'm on the time trial, and on to tomorrow for the road race. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to keep watching more videos, um, it really helps the channel, and see you in the next one. Thank you.